Uh, I'm going to make this speech very quick. It, this is just a purpose of saying thank you for all of you to be here. Every one of you who are here uh, means a lot to myself, Ramin, and uh, my mom and dad. I do want to um, make a note here and say thank you to my mom and dad for raising <laughs> such a beautiful, well-rounded daughter who is my angel, love of my life. I can't thank them enough. And um, now I'm going to talk about a little bit about Zachary. <laughs> Zachary is like my, my new son, right? Um, I love you, Zach. Um, I have witnessed your relationship grow for past seven years, and I have no doubts that you guys are going to grow and um, make a beautiful family in a very, very near future. Um, <laughs> within, it's a hint. Maybe within four or five years. Nothing sooner. Nothing sooner, as Ramin said. But seriously, I couldn't ask for anything more than, or anyone more than you, Zach. Um, you have um, showed me how much you loved Melody, and I appreciate that. And I love you for who you are and how you love and cherish Melody. So that's one thing. And then let's talk about Melody a little bit. <laughs> oh. Melody, you are my only child, my only daughter, and I love you, and I appreciate who you are, how well-rounded you are, how um, much you have achieved in life on your own, of course, with my mom and dad's support, and a little bit here and there with me and Ramin, Hale and Shahram on the side. Uh, I couldn't be more proud to be standing here and celebrating this night with all of you guys. And that's all about it for my speech. <laughs> Not going to go longer than this. Yes, I love you, Melody. I am sure that you're going to continue to be successful in your life, in your relationship. And Ramin and I will continue supporting you in any shape or form we can. Okay? Let's celebrate. Thank you all. In the interest of full disclosure, she did it right. Short, succinct, thank you, love you. Me, not so much. <laughs> also, unexpected treat, everything I say Baba is going to translate in Farsi. Uh, so you, you should be taking notes. Okay. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zach's dad. On behalf of the hosts, Melody's parents, Lale, Ramin, my wife Renee, and myself, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Your presence here is an honor to us. It's so wonderful to have people who have been so important in our children's lives here with us. Zachary, when you were born, our highest hopes were that you would grow into a compassionate, loving, loyal, responsible human being. Mom and I believed it was our job to give you the kind of love that you could someday share with your own wife, and your own children. Forgive us if in the light of you having fallen in love and married Melody, we feel pretty darn successful right now. <laughs> there are so many decisions that parents can't make for children. Children go off on their own. And we hoped, Zach, that you would be a sage as you went through life, and you were pretty much. 
you learned responsibility very early. Zach used to come to us as a small child and announce that he was putting himself in time out because <laughs> he, he had done something he shouldn't have done. Not that his sense of responsibility prevented him from being a crazy kid. We had visits from the neighbors who would say, your boys are climbing two and a half stories up a steel cable to get on our roof. Can you get them to stop that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Jesse's idea, but Zach took full responsibility. <laughs> he, he was seven at the time. Or when you were about eight and you decided it'd be a great idea to rollerblade down a sliding board and we sat with you at the hospital while they reset your arm. <laughs> You've tested yourself, Zach, with bungee jumping, skydiving, motorcycling, hunting, travel to exotic locations. But throughout, you have been a man who acts with honesty, integrity, and in good faith. You've been a great son, you've been a great friend, and now you're going to be a great and loving husband. <laughs> Zach, when you met Melody in lab, you began to tell mom and I about this wonderful woman Later, you became best friends, and we subsequently met you, Melody, and your wonderful family. As time progressed, we felt a comforting assurance that you had met the love of your life. Zach, we are the proudest parents ever now because we see you united in marriage with a woman of your dreams. Melody, we are overjoyed that you've chosen to marry Zachary. If there was one person in this entire world that Renee and I would pick, to be his wife, it would only be you. Mm. I know that most people here know you, but for those who may not, Melody has an incredible strength of character. She generally accomplishes the impossible right away. You're intelligent, resilient, determined, we love that you are completely unafraid of life. In fact, you seem to go through life with your arms wide open, trying to take in whatever life has to offer. One of my favorite memories in seeing that was when Zach brought you to remote Montana. Okay. So we've got the LA Cali girl going to honky tonk bars and rodeos. But the big test was Zach brought out two 12-gauge, double-barreled shotguns. <laughs> and he showed her how to do it, broke the action, put in two heavy shells, locked the barrels, and blasted away. We all watched to see what Melody would do. Melody being Melody, she walked over, took the gun out of his hands, and said, I can do that too. <laughs> and she did. Melody, you are such an amazing partner. You are thoughtful, sensitive, and loving. You possess characteristics that are wonderful for all of us to have. You seem to have more than most, though, which is a wonderful thing. As a psychologist, I think I may know the answer to why that is. I've talked to your grandfather, and I've asked him how he made the difficult decision to leave his homeland, Iran, for this country. Without hesitation, he said, it is my love and concern for my children, for Lale, Hale, and now you. People talk about how important it is to have a safety net. You've had the advantage of this wonderful safety family all of your life. And family is what brings us here together today. We are here to acknowledge your new family, the family of Zach and Melody. Melody, we are so fortunate that Renee, myself, Jesse, Zoe, 
now together with your family, share in your new family. Melody and Zach, what makes us excited to see you two marry is that you have such wonderful personalities to share with each other, including keen senses of humor. You have clear personal and professional goals. This is going to help you in your marriage. We are confident, as Lale said, that you will stand the test of time because of the depth of your love for one another. To paraphrase one of Baba's favorite poets, Rumi, your love for one another seems to have come not simply from finding that person in an ocean of humanity, but rather finding an entire ocean of love in each other. You two have already learned and demonstrated that the key to sharing lives is loving each other with passion and living each day like there's no tomorrow. Or as expressed in the immortal words of another Persian philosopher, Sorme, <laughs> who, who in a recent text after you guys had put one of your many accomplishments online, she observed, the thing you need to understand about this couple is that they work hard and play hard. So we want you to continue to invest your time and energies into making each other happy, in making each other feel safe when times are tough, in making each other feel as all of us have tried to make you feel, that is, loved unconditionally. Now if everyone would lift a glass, join with me to wish Melody and Zachary a marriage of pure joy and lives lived to the fullest. To you. Yeah. Yeah.